Welcome to Camel Cam. I'm Carly Eibel and happy Easter peeps! The softball team won't be taking the holiday weekend off as they play a double header starting at 4 o'clock on Friday and finish the series Saturday at noon. The men's golf team won the Seahawk tournament last weekend and Campbell had three golfers in the top 10. Gaston Bertinotti finished third for the Camels and Lisa got a chance to talk to him about his performance. Here's another segment of Candid Camel. Thanks, Carly. So, Gaston, this is the first tournament that you guys have won since 2012. So what type of motivation does that give you going into the Big South tournament coming up? I think it gives us a lot of motivation because the Big South is a big tournament and we need to keep going and keep winning things. And this team is really motivated to keep doing that good stuff we're doing right now. Now, you've been here at Campbell the past two years, you're a sophomore, and you've been on the golf team for the past two years. So what's your favorite part about being on the golf team? I think the friendship we have between girls and guys and also between all the guys like we all try to help each other and do stuff stuff to, together and I don't know just we try to help each other that's the most important part so you know one big happy family yes now um let's see you have Argentinian culture it's much different than the culture here in the U.S. and especially down south. So what has been the biggest adjustment that you've had to make here in the U.S.? I think the food is the... <laughs> I really miss my food back home. Like it's quite different and I'm trying to adjust that. But well, you keep missing food and missing my food and I love food too. So that that doesn't help much. But you can, you can sort that mistakes and that bad things that you have. So... Now, you have a very unique Argentinian accent, being from Argentina. So, you know, people try to replicate and duplicate that, but we want to hear your best American accent. I actually cannot do it. Like, it's really hard for me. <laughs> but I have a really good American story that happened to me, like, two, three weeks ago. Uh, George Mason, Mason tournament at, mm -hmm. down in Florida. I was about to hit a really a, a short shot and... When I was preparing myself to hit the shot, a crocodile jumped out of the water. A crocodile? Yeah, my, my teammate says that there's no crocodiles in the United States, but I, I'm pretty sure it's a crocodile because he was really big. And, and well, that thing kept moving his mouth, opening his mouth, and I was really scared and I couldn't concentrate to hit the shot and everybody make fun of me right now, but I don't know, there are good memories. <laughs> it's great, I don't blame you, I mean, I'd be scared of it. Wow. <laughs> But um, listen, thank you so much for letting me interview you, and good luck at the Liberty Spring Invitational. Thank you very much. The men's and women's tennis team will both be taking on UNC Asheville at 1 o'clock this Saturday. The Creek will be full of events next week as football will play their spring game Monday night at 6 p.m. under the lights at Barker Lane Stadium. As for the baseball team, they'll host ECU next Tuesday at 6 p.m. Go support your fighting camels in this beautiful spring weather all weekend long. Hey Camels, Lynn Russell here, and this is Freshman Pow Wow. This week, I talked to women's lacrosse about how they're adjusting to college life, spring activities, and many other things. Take a look. I think I'm doing well. It was a struggle, like, leaving my family and being far from home, but I think playing lacrosse and, you know, having a hard schedule in high school helped me adjust to college. In the beginning, it was tough because I had to get used to being away from home, but it helped me a lot being with a team that can support you and be with you through the whole way. College life has been hectic, but I've been able to do it because all through my life I've always balanced school and lacrosse, and I think it's honestly helped playing a sport here. I would love to lead the conference in draw controls, and learning how to play the guitar would be pretty cool and graduate with a master's in business administration. Definitely graduate with a 3-3 three, three or above would be awesome. And uh, lacrosse-wise, I'd just like to learn as much as possible to help the team grow and eventually win a conference championship. Um, my favorite springtime activity would probably be lacrosse, just playing in the beautiful weather down south and enjoying what I love. Playing lacrosse and tie-dyeing t-shirts and on warm days when it's not raining, I like to hang my Eno hammock up and take naps. Probably to fly, just so that on any free chance that I get, I can go wherever I want to go. To read people's minds, because I want to know what they're thinking, and especially if it's something bad, but if it's something good, that would be awesome. I probably want to make anybody I see smile on command. 
Well, that wraps up this episode of Camel Cam. I'm Lynn Joshua Russell, and we'll see you next week.